Hi guys, welcome to my video. This is our first video of clues and hints and spoilers for the FabFitFun Summer 2020 box. FabFitFun is a seasonal lifestyle subscription box. You get four boxes per year. You can pay quarterly four times or you can pay annually and get a discount on the boxes if you pay quarterly the total of your box is 49.99 and it does include shipping in the contiguous u.s states i talk a lot about fabfitfun in my fabfitfun 101 video so if you have any questions about add-ons customizations the box like anything you can go check out that video and i will make sure to link it down below in the description of this video i'm going to share both the official spoilers and those are just spoilers that they tell us are spoilers so one of them was in our magazine from spring so we've technically had a spoiler since we received our spring box because there's always one spoiler clue in the magazine if you are not a member and you want to become a member, I will put my referral link down below. Of course, you do not need to use referral links. You can just type www.fabvitfun.com. But if you would like to use my referral link, it does give you a $10 discount and that will be down below in the description as well. So the first, first, first official spoiler comes in our spring box. If you read the FabFitFun magazine, there's a sneaky little spoiler in there every single time. This time we are decoding sunshine, igloo, and two bottles. So a lot of people have decoded it to be a cooler and they think it's the business and pleasure cooler bag. And of course we don't know exactly what it means. We are all just trying to decode this together. They have not helped us decode it, but there was a FabFitFun video where they showed three FabFitFun products and two of those products were in our spring box. In the video, one of the founders says, one of these items will be in the summer 2020 box. So by process of elimination, that business and pleasure cooler bag that was in that video, and I'll put a little photo over here, is probably the item that they're trying to spoil in our spring book as well. So that is how people are getting that business and pleasure cooler as being the spoiler because they're putting two clues together. Could it be something from Igloo? Maybe, but probably not likely. Could it just be an insulated bottle? Also very possible. They might be two completely different Spoilers. Maybe we're getting the cooler and we're also getting something else. We really don't 100% know, but it is an official spoiler. So the hint that they dropped today on their Instagram, it's a hint, it's not a spoiler. I think we were all expecting a spoiler. Apparently it will be up tomorrow. So I guess I'm gonna be filming another video for you guys tomorrow. But the hint is all of the Southern states and a magnolia. I think it could be one of the unofficial hints that I'm going to talk about later in this video, but I'm not 100% sure. That company happens to have a magnolia as their logo, and they also are kind of like a Southern charm type company. So it might be the exact same spoiler. I'm not 100% sure, but I feel like it could be leaning towards hinting towards that. And that company is Draper James, and I'll talk about it a little bit more later in this video. The spoiler is unofficial because they don't exactly say this is gonna be in the summer 2020 box. But we do know just historically that this is a way that spoilers are revealed. So those are found on one of the founder's Instagrams and she does this or that. So she shows two products and it ends up being one of our customizations later. So that's how we know it's probably gonna be our summer customizations on her this or that post. This time she has three. The first one was posted on February 27th. So technically we have had a spoiler for quite some time with that one as well. And that, this or that, were the Tom's Sydney sunglasses. They look to be the black frame with all green solid lenses. 
not the ones that were previously on Tom's website that have gradient green lenses, but they did just post new Sydney sunglasses that are all green. So we found them, they're not yet released, it says coming soon. The second part of that this or that is from Draper James, it is their straw bag with scarf. So let's start talking about the Tom's Sydney sunglasses. If it's the ones that are the coming soon, those are retail value of $58. And they have olive colored lenses and a oversized cat eye look. Here's a photo over here of somebody wearing them. I'll put a couple of photos so you can see different angles of someone wearing them. They are a nylon material, like the actual glasses are made of a nylon material, and the measure measurements are 50, 23, and then 148. So if you know what type of glasses look best on your width face, you can usually kind of look at those measurements and see what would be best for you. You might wanna go look at one pair of your glasses, see what you like, and that's usually the width that you need to cover everything you wanna cover on your face. So Draper James is founded by Reese Witherspoon. It's kind of like a Southern socialite, like it has really good Southern charm to the items. This specific bag retails for $75 and it's made of a paper straw. And the measurements they list on their website are 5.5 inches wide and then about 10 inches high. The second this or that post was posted on April 1st. Hopefully, that does not mean it's an April Fool's joke. I don't know why you would pick that day of all days to share a spoiler, but it was posted on April 1st and it is either the Michael Kors Passport wallet or the Pottery Barn Mason Diffuser in the scent Solstice. The Michael Kors Passport Wallet is retailed at $78 and it has the signature MK logo design on canvas and the color is Brown Acorn. The wallet is a canvas poly cotton blend. It's 4.25 inches wide and then 5.5 inches tall. It contains four slip pockets as well as six card slots and one of those has a window for your ID. The Pottery Barn Mason Ceramic Reed Diffuser retails for $59. Right now, that Reed Diffuser, that specific one, is 25% off at Pottery Barn if you use the code Earth Day. So, some people like to consider what price they could get something for retail, including sale prices. The scent is made up of bergamot, geranium, vetiver, and patchouli. And it's kind of described like a summer, a warm summer afternoon. You get 6.7 ounces of the oil, the solstice scented oil, and you get 10 diffuser reads. If you want it to smell more, you add more reeds. If you want less, you add less. So five is like the standard, but you could add more or less depending how much you want your room to be scented. The actual ceramic jar is five inches tall and the reeds are nine inches tall. And the last this or that unofficial spoiler that has been posted was posted on April 16th. That one has two skincare products. The first is the Hair Mare Aloe and Tea Tree Toner, and then the other one is the Lifestyle Co. Beach Mist. The Terramare Toner has a $54 retail value. It's actually been in one of our FabFitFun sales before. I don't have the exact specifics on which sale it was, but it was available for $19. So definitely it was available at a deep discount. Some of the FabFitFun members might already have it, so you can check out the community and see if anybody's talking about how they love it or don't love it. Of course, that sale is long gone, so it is no longer available at that discounted price, but the retail value is $54 and that's what it's available for now. The first ingredient is aloe juice and that is obviously a very soothing ingredient. It also has willow bark which is soothing as well and then it has tea tree oil and the tea tree oil is good for clearing your skin or really good for acne. For the Lifestyle Co. Beach Mist, they say this is an after sun mist so I assume it's a 
you got a sunburn and it retails for $42. This one also has aloe, but the first ingredient is not aloe. The first ingredient is water. It's like a water glycerin base. Another ingredient pretty high up on the list actually is dead sea salt and that is kind of known for its healing as well. And in addition to the aloe, it has some other soothing ingredients as well. It has cucumber, it has lavender, it also has mint and it has chamomile. I expect it's going to smell either like lavender or mint or a combination of the two because those are the two ingredients that would probably add scent to the product. So the dates for customization were also released for the select members. Those are members that pay annually, you pay one time for all four boxes. Their customization will happen May 2nd through 5th. And then for the seasonal members or all access members, they're called sometimes, their customization is going to be from May 15th to May 18th. I talk about customization and add-ons a lot in my FabFitFun 101 video, so make sure you check that video out if you have any questions. I did link it in the description. I'll probably link it in the comments as well, and there should have been a little card pop up somewhere on screen when I talked about it earlier. That's all the hints and clues and spoilers that I have. I wish I had more. I wish that I had photos and like... Supposedly they're gonna release more as the week goes on. I don't know if I can do a video every day. That is a lot of filming and editing, but I will try to release the information as often as I can. What do you think about these spoilers? Which one is your favorite? Is there something that you are eyeing for the customizations? Make sure if you are not subscribed to my channel that you hit the red subscribe button down below so that you don't miss the next spoiler video because I will be posting them as often as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.